now have changed the balance of the vehicle. And we do that on purpose so that when we start flying through the atmosphere, the vehicle won't just fly straight in like a bullet. It'll, it'll fly at an angle of attack. It'll fly at a slight angle, and that gives us a lift vector. And so we can oh, use that lift vector to then control and steer the vehicle and help us slow down more. I'll talk about that some more in a little bit. So we have testing that balance mass, <laughs> then we, we come slamming into the atmosphere at about 13,000. That's exactly what we did. It starts heating. Exactly. So that heat shield, the rigid heat shield up front is protecting the Yeah, the heat shield and the crew state separation and the peak heating and that going through the peak heating can be a sonic acceleration. So now think about that in regards to... Oh, give me some beer. We can't subject our humans, particularly in space for a while, to 10 So we're going to have to slow down a little bit and slower. Yeah. But for our current state of the art, it's experiencing 10 Gs, and then we start this guy, detail. the S term. And slow down. And as we get down, let's go to the radar data collection, and we drop the heat shield, we drop it. The radar system then is looking for find out how high we are, and once it finds out, it drops down. And our payload, in this case, for this mission, it was the rover, the rover, or the rocket pack, actually, called the powered descent vehicle. And it, and it continues slowing down, slowing down the surface. surface. This is in a parachute and put it. So that is, that is the current state of the art. Bleh. I need more beer. And I'll show you a little bit, more, a little bit more in a few minutes. A few minutes. But while flying, flying through, through the ideal sequence, the vehicle system the needs to be able to, to land, land within a defined area. Yeah. I showed you what you'll see yeah. before. Here's a close-up of it. That's exactly how it looks on Mars. And we targeted, we targeted but that was that impossible, was impossible years a few years ago. Because, oh, because uh, like this, uh, I don't know why. Because it's larger than the crater itself, right? So we've gotten a lot better. This is a gale crater here. Uh, or the landing land right over there. Right, the right, that, right at the gale so crater. Draw the calculation. Draw the calculation. We've been pounding the beers. Very confident. We went to Mars. The center. Hello, there I am. Way, oh, way, I went to Mars. Point is, the point is, we need, we need to convince all you people that we went to bars. Do you believe it? So within about do you believe we went to bars now, people? What do you need? 3D animations? So let's take a look at sort of the history of introducing the history. Of Mars. I mentioned the Viking mission. I mentioned the Viking. So, it yeah. so we then did we Mars did. Exploration rovers. In 1997, we, we went to the Mars Pathfinder, and then we, so again, we have look at the there, there we go. Here we are. are. We're at a camera so location. Or ballistically. Look at that. This is how we did it. So That's our heat shield, shield entering in the Martian atmosphere. And there it goes. Look at that. It's real. It's not fake. That's our supersonic parachute. It's still flying relatively horizontally. You hear that sound effect? That's real. It all happened. It really happened. Look at that. Look at that, it just discharges that little tetrahedron pyramidal thing. Tetrahedron will just kind of walk out there and it'll just start colonizing and we put ants inside there. The ants are going to come and then it blows up. See, that's ant larva. See the ant heads? They're sticking out of there. And then we blew this exhaust fumes and then it just dropped. We dropped some ant larva and it bounced like balls. And that, that system, Look at that. that airbag system hits the surface at about 54 miles an hour. That's amazing. And it bounces along until Bouncy, it's bouncy, bouncy. This is a simulation. That's not a simulation. That's the real thing. About 30 times before they stopped. Yeah, about 30 and times. Then it and then it deflates the airbag. And, and look what happens. The out come the and ants. You have safely on the surface. And that's how it happens. That's the truth. That's the that is the truth. Yes. So um, system, we really didn't really have to build it, we well, just have to tell you that we built it. Different it's different for the Apollo, Apollo because so it's a the Apollo ones, we really so did go to the moon, and we just figured that there wasn't a 3D technology in 1960, so we just thought we can take advantage of the new CG technology these days. That's how it works. The question was, how do you avoid landing yeah, well, on a steep hill or incline? Well, our CG department so, uh, one is we used a bullet dynamics, can do that. and we what can apply different design collision design detection with variables within our software, and, and we didn't really have to go. Our, our we just had to show you this animation and talk about bullshit in front of you people. It has a little bit too small. There we go. So we can I go to the bathroom? So, yeah, so the balloons were the public uh, uh, material. Uh, uh, Kevlar, we have a whole... We have a little joint venture with the people who made the Kevlar. Uh, and we allow, it to allow yeah. a very tough, tough exterior, tough exterior so soft interior. Kind of like me. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
For humans to Mars, humans, we yeah, we're gonna, gonna go. Yeah, yeah. we're gonna go to Mars. Right now, humans, we're gonna go to Mars, and Mars is it's not that big, though. It's only about 100 feet wide. We don't know if we can fit the world on Mars. We don't really want to tell people that we're living inside the concave Earth because that would just kind of like we would lose all our money and we lose all our popularity, and we'd have to admit we lied to everybody, and we don't want to do that. We lose all our contracts with all our vendors. This little texture map that we applied to this is kind of out of date. We only had the computer technology back then that we could use, and it wasn't that versatile, so we didn't really make it look too realistic. Which was which was successful. See how successful that was. Next question. And so now the most recent one we have is the Mars Science Laboratory, no. uh, which was the no. Curiosity rover. Yeah, curious. So this represents the state of the art. So we'll watch how we got to the surface with MSL. Oh, that's what we did. Here we go. So again, see the first one. So we'll play low rigid aerosol. Drop the cruise stage. Now we'll we went to Mars. This entry vehicle toward the atmosphere of Mars. We went to Mars. 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 So we went, we went to Mars. So now we'll start to get into the sense of the atmosphere. So the vehicle starts to feel the vehicle starts to use rocket reactor reactor system to keep itself oriented correctly. We have to keep it oriented here, correctly. You see this is exactly how it happened too. I'm not lying to you. I'm not lying. Whoa, these turns, these turns, these turns, these turns. Ah! Help me! I'm spinning. So now we're continuing to slow down, and as we get close, yeah, we kick off, kick off, we kick it off. That's exactly how we did it. That's exactly how it happened. There's, there's, a there's a supersonic, super, 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 super sonic parachute. Oh, look, 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 look at that. Look at that. It's kind of like a big plunger. And the radar and it comes down. Surface. We already had and our camera set up on Mars before we landed on Mars. The rover and that's how it works. Here comes the rover rocket back. They fire and it fires and accelerates. There it goes. One of the first things it does, though, is a big left turn. A big left turn. Because there's no left turn size on there. There's no left turn size As we get closer, there's an instrument called the Marty Instruments a Camera. We went to Mars. We went to Mars. We went to Mars. So now, as we get closer to the surface, we lower. Here we go. We lower the rover. Tethers. We have tethers to lower the rover. We like to use tethers to make astronauts in simulation and pretend they go on the moon. Now we're tethering the rover. And the car doesn't give a flies away. Goodbye. Could go back to Earth. But safe distance away from go back to Earth. And one of the uh, big benefits of landing this uh, way is you've now got your okay. rover system. It landed perfectly like that, too. All it has to do is it's a perfect up landing. Sensing mass, and it's essentially, ready it's to essentially what happened. As opposed to, well, so the, the <laughs> landing to <laughs> <it> was the <laughs> Mars Exploration <laughs> Rover <laughs> that were packed in that air back into the region. They were folded up. Bobby, get up a cookie. Where are you? Operation. And so here, we have yeah, we a little bit of a It's called Mount Sharp. It's the center of that Gale crater that we talked about. And it has been, it's been operating for just over two years and has just now gotten over to the base of Mount Sharp. Now, it's done an awful lot of science. It's an awful lot of science. We've learned that there are oh, small rivers that you can at least need deep. Uh, this is pokes. Oh. Yeah, again, I mentioned the, yeah. the big discovery for yeah. MSL is the MSL. Of ancient habitats. Hello. That could have ancient been habitats. Been Ladies and gentlemen. It's done a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got so far down the bullshit hole, there's no returning. No fucking returning whatsoever. No, 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 no. We have a significant technology gap. But since you don't have a problem, we're not believing this. We're just going to get the bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Look, color graphs. One metric ton. One metric ton. Ten kilometer ellipse. Wonderful. We got real drama. Can we make it? No. The biggest challenge for humans. The biggest challenge for humans. Radiation protection. We. 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 Oh. Humans of Mars. We're going to do it. Yeah. We're going to do it. It's a very successful commercial. Kind of look like a doughboy. Other missions. Kind of sound like one too. Pillsbury is one of our vendors for NASA. They send all the goodies up to our astronauts in the space station. Bread rolls, cinnamon rolls, crescent rolls, and rover rolls. Roll over, rover. We are so full of shit. Successfully, yes. Uh, yeah. The mission, so are the yeah, missions coordinated with other countries? Yeah, um, well, yes, currently, we can't like get all the countries, countries to agree really on our bullshit, but if we force them to, we can, by sanctions. So we'll get them in gear, don't yeah, worry. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you.
So landing on Mars is not easy. As we just said, we've landed a total of seven, seven times successfully. Uh, well, actually, seven minus seven. So actually zero times. But who's counting, right? I've landed at low uh, elevation. You don't want to make this too big of a deal because lower. it's so um, bullshitty. We've landed less than one metric ton. We don't want everybody. And it's there's been nice relatively nice large nice. uncertainties on our landing location. Full of shit. And this, the EDL system, super challenging. My stomach has gone to the underwear can stretch. Systemic new investments in new atmospheric flight systems Ooh. that are the basis for Ooh. these entry, descent, and landing systems. And that really is the core of EDL. Core? You your core to fly these vehicles through an atmosphere. Ooh. So the agency has started working on some technologies. Remember we mentioned in the beginning that we don't have the answer right now. Wait a minute, you don't have the answer? That we're working on. How could you not have the answer? Deployed or it's, it's from a mission called Herbie 3 or the Inflatable Reentry. Inflatable Boats. Three. And it uh, shows... Um, Watch this. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, this one. Welcome. Welcome. And uh, welcome back to those of you who've been here. Thank you. Um, throughout the series. If you have been here throughout the series, uh, you have seen NASA's plans for the next 30 years or so. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the question is, do we have to kill you now? What? The answer is no. Did you say? Today, do we have to kill you now? 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 Do we have to kill people? Gus Grissom, Thomas Barron and his family. Do you have to kill Alberto Behar? Zachary Warfield? Do you? Did you? Did you? Did you? Liars? Come on. Come on with some blowers. Let's go. Get off your ass. And start telling the truth.